Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're trying to find the stress in the cable that's hanging from that beam. And notice that the stress will increase as we go further up the cable as more and more weight is pulling down on the cable, on any section of the cable. So these, the force is caused by the weight of the cable. So as you go further up the cable, there'll be more weight hanging down from that section of the cable. So we take an arbitrary cross-sectional area right there, a small little piece. Notice that the stress in the cable is going to be equal to the force divided by the area, where the force is provided by the weight of the cable below that point. Notice that the density of the cable is 7,900 kilograms per cubic meters, and that the cross-sectional area is 5 centimeters squared. So we're trying to find the stress in that cable as a function of y, as a function of position above the bottom of the cable. So what we're going to do here is the following. First of all, using density, we can say that the density by definition is equal to the mass divided by the volume, which means that the mass of any segment of the cable is equal to the density times the volume. In addition to that, notice right here that we're going to go ahead and write the equation of the stress as being a ratio of the force divided by the cross-sectional area. Now in this case, the cross-sectional area is known but the force will be the weight of the, of the section of the cable below the imaginary cut. So the force will be equal to the weight, mg, divided by area, and the mass can be defined as the density times the volume done times g divided by the area. Now the volume of the cable, think of it as a cylinder, that would be the cross-section of area A times the height Y. So this would be equal to the density times A times Y times G, all divided by the cross-sectional area. And notice that the cross-sectional carries out, cancels out, so we have the stress is equal to the density times G times Y. So now we're going to write this as a function of Y. Notice that these two will be constants and this will be the variable as you go further up the cable. So when we write that, we get the density is, or the, the stress is equal to the density, which is 7,900 kilograms per cubic meters, times G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times Y. Now if we multiply that out, we get 7,900 times 9.8, That'll give us 77,420. So sigma is equal to 77,420. Now kilogram meter per second square is newtons. And then we have to divide by meters cubed. So we have newtons divided by meters cubed times y. Now y will be in meters, so when you cancel out meters with meters cubed, you have newtons per meter squared, which is pascals, or we can write sigma is equal to 77,420 pascals per meter times y, and y of course would be any position from the bottle on the of the cable on up. So for every meter that you go up the cable, the stress will increase by amount of 77,420 pascals. You go 10 meters, it'll be 774,000 and so forth, but at least now we have what we call the stress, the internal normal stress or the tensile stress of any point in the cable as a function of position above the bottom of the cable, and that is how it's done.